Hi, welcome to this week's Commercial Real Estate Report. I'm Tom Dakin, business reporter at the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel and writer of the Land and Space Commercial Real Estate blog at jsonline.com. A few years ago, hotel proposals for the area around Milwaukee's Mitchell International Airport were flying fast as rising passenger numbers set new records. Things have since cooled off with the airport posting declining passenger traffic and Frontier Airlines announcing several major service cuts. Meanwhile, one proposed hotel development site, just south of Mitchell International, is the target of a new foreclosure suit. But operators of hotels and other airport area businesses say they're weathering the changes and that being close to Mitchell International remains a big advantage. At the Crown Plaza, the occupancy rate is flat so far in 2012, compared to the same period from a year earlier. But that probably has less to do with air traffic cuts and more to do with the opening of the airport area's newest hotel, a courtyard by Marriott, which began operating in December. Service cuts by Frontier Airlines are a concern, said Matt Landgriff, general manager at the Hilton Garden Inn, but so far he hasn't seen an impact on his hotel. The number of passengers boarding planes at Mitchell dropped 5% for the 12 months through February, and departing flights for that period were down 13%. But a recent survey of airport area hotels supports the notion that the service cuts haven't had a huge impact. They show the number of occupied rooms are actually up 6% during that period. For more on this, look for an upcoming story at the journal Sentinel and at jsonline.com.